The Yamraza Model Lab aims to provide an opportunity for students to expand science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education through practical experiences. The program provides selected communities with information and communications technology centers equipped with educational content and multimedia, as well as robotic labs. 14-year-old Anthony Osi Mensa is in JHS2 and is able to complete Adriano Robotics. He intends to specialize in military electronics engineering. Yeah, when I see people doing this, I become happy. I become happy when I see people connecting wires, negative and positive wires, and putting in layers for them to turn on. I become happy when I see them, so I just want to also be like those who be doing those stuff. 14-year-old Princess Dria, a female pupil, says in the heavily dominated male field, she is not restrained in achieving higher ground. I want to make the lab produce life and also make this one produce sound. When we talk about ground, okay. the ground is supposed to be at the negative side. Okay. And uh, the data is supposed to be at the positive side. So it doesn't matter the jumper wire that the you use. The yes. Wire. yes. Hot matters is where you put your ground. Mm -hmm. you, you're supposed to put it at the negative side. Okay. And the uh, data at the positive side. For two years, the facility, the 11th of its kind in the country, which consists of two educational labs, robotic assembly labs, 24 hour solar powered and CCTV monitoring technical assistance will be offered by helping Africa and friends of Yamranza. At the commissioner of the facility, Jaboso, the member of parliament, Governor Minta Kando, who is also a promoter of STEM education, hinted over 3,000 pupils from surrounding communities will benefit from the project. You have all seen this ultra modern facility, which, of course, you all agree with me that it is over and above the threshold of GEAs. And therefore, the expectation of everybody is that this edifice must have a good reflection on the performance of the students in this constituency. This is the challenge. And I believe that the Director of Education will take up this challenge. This facility is going to train more than 3,000 students within the catchment area. Where the partners have meanwhile urged other communities to take advantage of the opportunity and have their children educated in STEM. Yeah.